president. No, I'm not asking for your help, but I'm telling you we need to do something. All right. Why don't we talk about this on Friday? Friday. Listen, Mr. President, why don't we just bury the hatchet and you and Mrs. Roosevelt for her supper on Christmas Eve? You will? Wonderful. <laughs> yes, goodbye now. Yes, bye, Mr. President. Grace, I know what Democrats eat. Yes, sir. Did that come to Denise? I think right this morning. Fine. I'm going to give it to her and tell her I'm a doctor. She's going to be the happiest little girl in the world. Get her down here. Hey, we have a man-to-man -man talk. You're sending me back to the orphanage, right? Of course not. You see, Annie, I was born into a very poor family, and, and both of my parents passed away before I was 10. <laughs> so I made a promise to myself, one way or another, I was going to be rich. Very rich. That was a good idea. But <laughs> lately, I have realized something. No matter how much money you have, but if you're alone, you have no one to spend it with, your life with, you may as well be broke. So I was at Tiffany's yesterday, and they picked this up for you. For me? Gee, thank you, Mr. Warbucks. Oh, gee. It's a silver locket, Annie. I noticed that old broken one you always wear, and I thought to myself, I'm going to give that kid a new locket. Here, let's just take this old one off. And no! I don't want a new one! What is it, Annie? This locket. My mother and father left it when they left me at the orphanage. And no two, they're coming back for me. I know I'm real lucky being here with you for Christmas, mm. but the one thing I want in all the world is to find my mother and father and be like other kids with folks of my own. It's all right, I'll find them. I'll find your parents for you. The Jules will find your mother and father if he has to put everyone in his organization on the job. If he has to pull every political screen there is to pull. So you go straight to the top, straight to the President of the United States, Annie. Give me your locket. But Mr. Warbuck. I understand, but it would be our best to launch seeing your parents. Okay, and maybe you should have my note too. Just you wait, Annie. You may be meeting your mother and father within a couple of days. Really? Really. Oh boy, I gotta write a letter to the kids about this. <laughs>